Dexter gives you the power to design literally every core layout of your WordPress site. We've talked about headers, footers, post templates, archives, and much more. And that too all from one single place. Easy to manage, easy to update, and 100% customizable. All right, we are kicking things off with the theme builder, which is one of the coolest features of the Nextar extension plugin. Now this is where we can create a custom header and footer. So instead of sticking with whatever the theme gives us by default, we're going to design our own website elements from scratch. Okay, beginning with the step one, let's talk about accessing the theme builder. For it, head over to your WordPress dashboard and go to Nextar settings, then theme builder. Once you're in, you will see a list of different template types that you can create. There's headers, footers, single posts, archives, and many more. To start, just click on add new template and then a pop-up will appear. Next, here's what you need to do. In the select template dropdown, pick header and give your template a name, something like custom main header. Next, if there's an additional settings section showing up, feel free to explore those to tweak header specific options. Okay, here comes the header behavior settings and you've got three options which are normal, sticky and normal plus sticky. Normal can scroll your page just like a regular header, whereas sticky stays hidden until you start scrolling, then it sticks to the top. And at last, normal plus sticky is best for both. It's always visible and stays pinned at the top start to finish. For this demo, let's go with normal plus sticky so the header stays right up there no matter where we scroll. Also, you can see this transparent header toggle which is for if you're planning a background image or slider right under your header which can look great but for now, let's leave it off. Once that's sorted, hit next. Now, just to show you how flexible Nextor is, when you're creating templates like header, you also get full control over where they appear onto your WordPress site. So, in the display conditions panel, you will see an include in dropdown. And from here, you can target exactly where the header shows up. For example, selecting entire website will apply that header across every page. And if you wanted to, you could also exclude it from certain pages like your blog, a landing page or anything specific. It's super flexible and the same kind of logic applies to all the other templates in the theme builder too. Now, once your template is created, it opens up inside your page editor. Normally, you'd use either the block editor or Elementor to build your header from scratch. But if you want to skip the blank canvas and save some time after installing the W Design Kit plugin, just click on its purple icon inside the editor like the one you're seeing on your screen and browse through a lot of ready-made headers. Choose the one you like and boom, it's added instantly. And then you just have to tweak it a little to fit with your site's style. Amazing, right? This saves you a ton of time, gives you professionally built layout and you can always tweak it later to match your brand. Now, if you're someone who prefers to build from scratch or wants more flexibility, here are two more options worth checking out. First one is next to blocks. If you're using Gutenberg, install this add-on to unlock more advanced blocks, especially for navigation menus. Second one is the plus add-ons for Elementor. If Elementor is your go-to option, this toolkit gives you powerful design widgets, sticky effects, mega menu and way more control over your design. So depending on which editor you are using, you can either import a header with W Design Kit or design one from scratch using these two powerful tools. Either way, let me tell you, you are going to be in full control. Now, once you're happy with how it looks, click on publish to save your header and next open your homepage in a new tab to preview it live. Hmm, looking nice. But do you notice anything? Yes, your new custom header has taken over and because we chose the sticky option earlier, it will stay visible even as you scroll. Saying that, voila, just like that, you've got yourself a fully customized global header without writing a single line of code. Now that we have built our custom header, let's take a quick peek at what else the next theme builder can help us customize. These next options works exactly like the header. You create them, set conditions and design them your way. So let's go through each of them one by one. First up is the footer. You can design a custom footer that shows across your entire site or even set different ones for specific pages, whether it's contact info, 
कॉपी राइट टेक्स्ट नेविगेशन लिंक और विजिट यू कैन कंप्लीटली मैच योर साइट वाइप विदाउट बींग लिमिटेड बाई दी डिफॉल्ट फुटर्स नेक्स्ट अप इज दी फोर ओ फोर पेज Now instead of showing that plain lifeless page not found message when someone hits a broken link you can design something branded and helpful think about it you could add a friendly message maybe a button that links back to your home page or your latest blog post which is going to be super useful for keeping people engaged even when they land in the wrong spot now let's talk about single post page templates this one lets you take full control over how individual blog posts or standard pages look think of it like this instead of designing each post or page manually you can build one custom template that defines how everything is going to look where the featured image goes where there's a sidebar how the content is structured and even little details like author info or meta data so once that templates is in place every new post or page automatically follows that same layout saving you time and keeping your site's design consistent you can use this for blog posts your about page contact page or pretty much anything that needs a custom repeatable design and of course you're building this all visually so no need to touch a single line of code moving forward there is this archive page This includes all your blog listing pages, category archives, tag archives, even search results. You can fully customize how your posts appear in a grid or list, what metadata shows, what spacing feels right, and basically how your content gets displayed in bulk. And bread crumb tree. This little navigation helper shows your visitors exactly where they are on the site and lets them jump back a level quickly. especially useful on sites with deep page hierarchies or blogs with categories plus it can be styled to match your site's theme perfectly so yeah next gives you the power to design literally every core layout of your wordpress site we've talked about headers footers post templates archives and much more and that to all from one single place easy to manage easy to update and 100% customizable